something weird that has happened in the gaming community. That's you. I'm serious, too, when I say this. For some reason, everybody in the gaming community wants game... They want games to fail. It's very bizarre. Like, the whole thing with X Defiant is still, like... Right off the bat, I'm going to say that's not correct. We want games to succeed. I would argue it's these companies that produce them that almost seems like they want them to fail because they're not making them for their audience. They're making them for an audience that doesn't exist, that's not there. Stumps me to this day. People complain about not having enough games to play, but when new games come out, even, even before they had played it, they're like, that game sucks, I'm not going to play it. Listen, man, if we keep tearing down these studios trying to make good games, like, yeah, not every single one is gonna be. If we start tearing down these studios that are trying to make good games, what studios, chat, have you guys seen that is just like, these dudes are just doing their best to make the best games possible? If you ask me, the games are not really made for you and I anymore. So, and you can tell, we got a good nose. We got a good nose. Whenever a video game comes out and it has certain elements into it, let's say, it's easy to look at that and go, yeah, I'm not the target audience for this game. And they tell you too sometimes. They go, this, odd, this, this game's not made for people like you. So if they're going to say that and put a bunch of elements into these games that we don't care about, never asked for, but yet get pushed onto us like we need to be lectured about it, of course people are not going to buy it. It just doesn't make sense. I mean, let's say you, for instance, you don't like um, a giant salad. Like, I think salad is absolutely reprehensible. It's gross. I would rather have a cheeseburger than a salad. You could tell. <laughs> But imagine that you order a cheeseburger and I come out with a big old plate full of a, a salad and I'm like, here's your salad. And you're like, I didn't order that. I don't want this. So it's like, of course, you're going to complain and you have every right to. We got Ancient Nellip for two Australian dollar dues. Thank you for the 25 cents, my good man. What games? There are no good games. That's the way that it feels, right? I, it's the way that it feels. Because it's also kind of like a loaded statement to say this, that, you know, these you guys don't like these good games. Excuse me. If if they were good games, I think we would like them. That's the whole point about playing these games. Not to mention the way that the studios are going. Dude, look at the prices. The product gets worse, yet it gets more expensive, which makes it twice as bad. Right? So the quality goes down and the expenses goes up. You just doubled the poopiness of it. We got bird talk for the two bucks. You don't like slop? You're too picky. Yeah, exactly, right? We've got Soul on the Lich. What's up, my good man? Good to see you here. I appreciate the five R's. He gave, or he gave me 50 ARs. Can't say that. Um, Apple products are not gimped down. Garbage, Gomez. You chuds are using it wrong. Same with games. We're not modern audiences. You're right. We're not modern audiences. And it's sad that this, this is the way that people kind of go with these things. But let's see what else he's got to say about it. So, I, I mean, so far, I'm almost disagreeing with everything. <laughs> Fun, and not every single one is going to be a hit. But if we're so? sitting here like praying on its downfall before the game even comes out, what do you think is going to happen? Nobody's going to be investing in gaming and making new games. And you're not going to have shit to... I don't know. Big old companies like BlackRock seem to be investing quite a bit. ...to fucking play. You're going to be sitting here playing MW2 Remastered, Remastered Edition. You're going to be sitting here trying to play fucking the same old games for the thousandth time. Because these billionaires and, and, and... Because those same old games are quite replayable and enjoyable. It's what it is, dude. The new games just ain't reaching that element. Fucking multi-million, billion dollar publishers. They're not going to... They're not going to green light any new games, any new co concepts, any new... I, I think most of us would actually be okay with that for the most part until they can get their stuff in order. It's like I was saying before, it, I don't need you to make a game just for the sake of making a game. And that's what it seems like now. Every game is not designed with like, remember when games used to have a great story and it was about having awesome characters and, and fluid, nice gameplay. Now it's like these games, they treat you like a rag 
and they're just trying to wring you dry. It's like cheap cash grabs. We don't want that. We want good games. Walter with the five bucks. Thank you, my good man. Really appreciate it. Hi, everyone. How's everyone doing today so far? Doing pretty good, my good man. Also, they make the game into their agenda rather than the story, gameplay, and character. 100%, my good man. 100%. We want to play good games. Man, if I put a 30-hour a, a shift at McDonald's, I don't want to come home and get lectured on my video game. <laughs> Can you imagine that, dude? Can you imagine going to, like, you, you get off of work, you come home, you sit on the couch. Ah, boy, I get, oh, maybe I get tomorrow off. Yeah, get tomorrow off. Let me sit down and play my game. You're a bad person. You know, let me <laughs> let me lecture you about this. I'm about that, that. It's like, oh, my. I paid $70 to get lectured. No, thank you. No, thank you. I, I paid $70 to, it's like you're, they're giving you almost like propaganda for you to buy. And then you sit down and have to watch it. Like, dude, come on. Can I just play a game? Can I not get cash grabbed every second? I already spent like $70 on this damn game. IP. I mean, I try to put myself in the shoes of myself when I was like 16 years old, but I can't. I was excited for new games when they came out. The problem is now we have too many options. We've seen too many different games. We've seen too many different ways to interact with games. Like okay. back in the day, bro, when in 2007, when Halo 3, Gears of War 1, and Call of Duty Modern Warfare dropped the same fucking year, bro, the, we were lined up outside of Game Stops, whether it was in a... Yep. I, okay. I remember sitting outside those long lines with my dad and we were just waiting for that halo to come out we grabbed that halo we went back home it was like me my dad and a couple of my friends and that's all we played all night was halo mall or attached to a fucking hollywood video sitting there waiting camped out drinking fucking mountain dew yep. waiting for these new games Still for the midnight one. release everybody was so excited about it okay but let's put it this way why were they excited for those games could it be possibly because these games were made for that audience? Us, the gamers. We thoroughly enjoyed games that were targeting specifically us because back then they understood that sales meant a lot to them because not everything was nickel and diming you on the back end with a cash app store and all this other crap, if you get what I'm saying. They're not nickel and diming you on the back end. These games are about, it's got to be good because we got to sell multiple copies. And so, and here's the other thing too. Do you guys remember that when you could, you would, let's think about the experience here, like the difference. I could sit in line wait for a game that was designed and made for me and when i got that game i paid only once for it and it was like back then it was what like 50 bucks now it's like 60 and 70 dollars for these games so back then let's say i buy a game it's like about 50 bucks or so i grab that cd i come home i put that bad boy in the game in the console we're off to the races we're already playing what are the games nowadays? People don't even really line up to buy games that much anymore. As far as I know, I haven't really seen it much of it. If there is, it's like maybe just a handful of people. That's about it. Everything's like online sales. You always got to be online. You buy a game, you sit down, you try to enjoy it. What do you hit with? Sign in here. Make an account there. Verify your email. Set your password. Do you want to see notifications? Check out these new game offers. It's like you just, you can't even just like download the game and play it. You're just swarmed with all this BS. The experience isn't even there anymore. When, when you could just buy the game and you knew this was going to be good, man. This, this was made for you. Now you're like, this ain't made for me. This is made for the modern audience. And then, and even if you do try to play the game, put your email in, set your password, verify your email. Uh, do Would you like to receive offers? You know, it's like, can I just play the game, please? So you could see the experience is, is, is completely different. And you're charging more money for it. I got to go through all these hoops. And then when I get into the game, hey, would you like to buy this cosmetic? Hey, would you like to buy this game pass? Give me a break. Give me a break. So, of course, we are going to be way more skeptical when games come out because these games are demanding more money, more time, 
and your personal info. They're demanding everything of you and they're actually delivering less product. So you should be skeptical. We got Ancient Nello coming in with five Australian dollar dues. Thank you, my good man. Also different back then because you either thrive or drown. Yeah, I got you. Swim or drown. I got you. Uh, now you can have live services and microtransactions and other excuses for a game being trash. You're right. It's all that's and that's exactly what I meant by they're always trying to get you on the back end. You know, sometimes they'll charge you full price for a game and then they got the stupid store for cosmetics, game passes, all this stuff, all these microtransactions in the background. It's like, dude, I already spent a bunch of money for this. So there's way more hoops to jump through. All these loot boxes, loot crates, all this other stuff. It's like the experience is not the same no more. We, you, could, you could tell easily it's designed to just wring your wallet dry rather than give you a great experience. So him sitting there going like, okay, you just want the game to fail. I think it's not that we're sitting here going, yes, please fail. I mean, maybe me because I'm a, I'm a jerk. But it's more along the lines of you can tell when a game is going to fail because it's got all the necessary check boxes and you're not one of those check boxes. It's, you know, this is for modern audiences. We're just, you know, just give the game a chance. You like what these new shows and movies coming out. They're like, please just give it a chance. We work so hard on it. Yeah. Yeah, you work so hard on it. You, do you think the rest of us care? Did you work hard on it for us or did you work hard on it just for yourselves because you wanted to push a certain agenda? I just want to play a good game, man. It's not complicated. It's not, co just make the game for us gamers. That's it. Now when new games come out, we're fucking sitting around a goddamn fire witch artifact, like doing a satanic ritual huh? for the game to fail miserably. It's funny you should say that. You ever see what's been going on lately, especially with them like Olympics and all this other stuff? I think the game companies themselves are the ones sitting around these uh, satanic rituals asking for the game to fail with all the crap they put in there. I don't really get it. I think that was the best statement he made at the end. That was the best statement he made at the end. Oh, I missed it. He just said, I don't get it. I think that was the best statement he had. 